As a person look towards the new year, I have two questions for you. One about 2017 and one about 2016. For 2017, what is the best way to begin to plan for the changes we desire to make? The best way to begin to plan is understanding we need to operate using a model of success that understands what we're trying to accomplish. I understand we're trying to put together 365 good days, but it starts with the first, coupled with the second, coupled with the third, and added to the fourth. And what we have developed is a model called the B4 model of everyday living, which is a reminder before I let my feet hit the floor each morning that there are four things that start with the letter B that I need to remind myself. And the first one is to be bold, the second one is to believe strongly, the third one is to begin now, and the fourth one is to commit to wasting be gone. And by being bold, I'm going to be declarative. By believing strongly, I'm going to have commitment. By beginning now, a sense of urgency. And wasting be gone, I'm committing to bleeding no more. And if we can remind ourselves every single day that that's our goal, we're going to have a lot of very good days in the year of 2017. 2016 was a tough year for many. What did you glean from this last year? I gleaned that change is constant and it's the only thing that is constant in our lives and that we need to make sure that we understand that change should not be the boss of us, that we should be the boss of change and manage to that, understanding that life is asking us the question, are we committed, are we ready, do we really want this, um, and understanding that uh, change is, is uh, found in how we listen to music. You know, back in the day we had, you know, CDs and now we have MP3 players. CDs, often you had to be in a building, you had to sit down and you had to listen to it. But now the music follows you and it goes wherever you are. And I think life is trying to tell us is that you are important. It's not so much the things we have, it's the person that you are. And so we can remember that change is trying to remind us that you're here on this earth to do something special. You need to figure out what that is and allow whatever music your life is supposed to play, allow for that music to begin now. Closing comments. My closing comments is for us to remember you know, three things, is to live, to love, and to be loyal. I think we need to remind ourselves to live joyously um, the life that we have, to love the people and places and things that we've been cherished to have, um, and also to be loyal and committed to the life that we want um, and say that is important to us. And we just can remind ourselves uh, that we are committed to those three things, to live, to love, and to be loyal. It's going to make life a lot more enjoyable.